For over 120 years, Vanderburg County's old courthouse has dominated Evansville's skyline. For almost a century, this building was home to county government and court systems. Vanderburg County residents seeking justice would journey to this place. Unfortunately, when the Vanderburg County Court offices moved to the Civic Center in 1969, the courthouse, as well as the once magnificent courtroom, suffered from neglect. For over 40 years, the courtroom has stayed empty, but now the Bar Association hopes to restore this courtroom back into the temple of justice it once was. The original construction of the Vanderburg County Courthouse started in the spring of 1888. After being completed in November of 1890, the courthouse was ready for its grand opening in 1891. This $379,450 architectural masterpiece was designed by Henry Carl Walters of Louisville and built by Charles Pearson Company of Indianapolis. Marble floors, decoratively carved woodwork, molded plaster, and grand staircases all made the Vanderburg County Courthouse a local spectacle. The courtrooms were probably the most intricately decorated spaces in the building. Once the courthouse was vacated, it slowly began to lose its elegant look. The limestone exterior did not show the signs of wear that the interior displayed. Three of the four courtrooms were stripped of their furnishings. The superior courtroom was left intact, but suffered from benign neglect. The plaster and paint finish were in poor condition due to extensive peeling and moisture damage. Much of the furnishings within the space were original and in fair condition, but were in need of refinishing. The tile was deteriorating and damaged in some areas, especially around the radiators. Over the years, upgrades have been made to the courthouse. In 1930, new electrical lights, plumbing, and a new elevator were all added to the courthouse. In 2002, the costly decision was made to make an investment in replacing the old slate roof with a new slate roof. In 2004, the electrical systems were improved. Although renovations were done to the courthouse as a whole, the superior courtroom still suffered from neglect and was in desperate need of repair. The Evansville Bar Association decided to take matters into their own hands. Several years ago, our president at the time, Dan Carwell, realized that in 2011, the Bar Association would celebrate its 100th anniversary and uh, started thinking about what kind of projects could we use to celebrate our anniversary. And um, this happened to be one of the options that came about, and uh, that was really the inspiration for it. With high hopes, the Bar Association restored the courtroom back to its original look. Freshly painted walls, new brass installation, retiled floors, and polished woodwork all helped the courtroom return to the marvel it once was. Uh, in that project, we refurbished uh, all, the, all of the main uh, materials and building systems. Uh, we restored the marble, and then we uh, did a, a significant restoration, uh, refinishing to all the woodwork, including the furniture and that's jury chairs, uh, the uh, uh, witness stand, the backdrop behind the main judge's uh, stand. Uh, we also completely repainted in there, and you're gonna find that there's gold leaf paint. We did some fairly detailed uh, research uh, on the paint that had been used over the years, and for a building of this age, there were several, there have been several times that the, the rooms have been repainted. So what we tried to do was, through a, a process of revealing by sanding the various levels down, we were able to examine the paint colors and then put things together in, in a way that we thought was both authentic and in keeping with the overall composition of the room. The restoration of the courtroom has been an incredible process. The elegance of the courtroom speaks for itself. The generous contribution by the Bar Association is something that all citizens can enjoy. The courthouse is owned by the Vanderburg County Commissioners and run by the Old Courthouse Foundation and they currently rent it for uh, weddings, any kind of receptions and now that it's finished there's a lot more demand for that type of rental. The judges have also indicated a strong desire to be able to hold some hearings in the courtroom. The Superior Courtroom, now named the Randall T. Shepard Courtroom, has been restored from a faded and neglected room into the glorious Temple of Justice it once was when it opened in 1891.